Steadfast Noon is our annual live fly exercise where we demonstrate nuclear deterrence. Uh, this year we're using 60 aircraft from 13 nations. Uh, roughly 2,000 personnel involved in this year's exercise uh, coming together as one team, uh, again, to deliver the deterrent capability that the Alliance needs. Uh, during Steadfast Noon, we look at the, all the procedures that we use uh, to bring this mission together. We start with mission planning, uh, we go through those procedures, and we provide a very robust scenario to look at the modern threats that we would face. Uh, we transition then into a week where we would fly uh, and execute the mission. Uh, new this year is certainly the inclusion of the F-35A aircraft. Uh, the Netherlands was the first nation to bring this ability, uh, bring this platform uh, to the forefront. Uh, they've been the leader in this and have certified the aircraft. They're completely ready and they're demonstrating it here this year. Um, on top of that, we're bringing together different capabilities, uh, particularly maritime and multi-domain aspects that we would need to achieve this mission. So with the F-35, uh, we are constantly looking at how we would evolve this mission. Uh, with new capabilities, uh, brings new tactics and new procedures. Uh, we look at those constantly. One of the lessons that we will learn out of this exercise specifically is how we will incorporate the F-35 in that role. Um, we've been looking at this for a long time. The F-35 is certainly not new, it's, uh, but it is new to this mission, and we will look and take advantage of every opportunity we have, particularly in this exercise, uh, to learn the lessons that we can to improve. Russia's continued rhetoric on nuclear weapons uh, is something that we keep a close eye on. Uh, we continually keep a close eye on their capabilities as well. While there certainly has not been a nuclear employment in Ukraine, uh, the threats that Russia is making and constantly makes in that realm uh, are concerning. Uh, what we also look at and things that we look at are particularly things like UAVs, one-way attack drones, because we have to protect this mission and protect the populations uh, in the NATO countries. Uh, one particular thing we're looking at steadfast noon in this year is again those capabilities that we're seeing globally, not just in Ukraine, but globally, uh, in what we call emerging and disruptive technologies. Uh, those technologies that could pose a threat not only to the safety or security of our weapons, but the effectiveness of our mission. During this exercise, there are no nuclear weapons involved. I know that sounds interesting, having a nuclear exercise with no nuclear weapons involved. We use simulated uh, assets, we use simulated procedures where we need to to ensure the safety uh, because we also want to test things during an exercise and we can't do that with live weapons. NATO is certainly not new to nuclear deterrence. Uh, the Alliance just celebrated its 75th anniversary and NATO has been a nuclear alliance nearly that entire time. Uh, Steadfast Noon has been an exercise around for over two decades. Uh, we will continue to modify the exercise uh, to address the modern threats that we will face. Uh, but in the meantime, we will maintain safe, secure, and effective nuclear deterrence for the Alliance. Everything in NATO starts with political control and a political consensus amongst the Allies to do anything with this mission. Uh, that, once we take that guidance, uh, we at the Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe transition that uh, to the military effect and the military aspect. And the nuclear mission, that requires planning and then execution of the mission, should the Alliance ever decide to make that decision.